Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> Borals and Gorals, welcome back. We're going to Chaos Draft here on Magic the Gathering Online. On Magic the Gathering Internet. Slivers can't be blocked except by slivers. That would be great if I thought I was going to see a bunch of sliver packs, but since I don't think I'm going to see that. <laughs> Definitely not cool. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I feel like that's accurate. I kind of like just skin thinner. It just destroys a guy. It's pretty versatile. <clears throat> the problem with uh, with any of the Onslaught Legion's Scourge packs is that they're very creature-centric. Oh, Chris, what did you ask? Hold on. Hall of Fame top five? Oh, a Hall of Fame top five? Do you mean the top five that are in the Hall of Fame? I used to get a Hall of Fame ballot to vote on the Hall of Fame, but I don't know, like two years ago they stopped giving me one, and I was just like, alright, weird. Weird thing to just stop, but... For 2019? Oh man, I have no idea. That is a good question. I'd have to, I have to. I want to see the ballot. <clears throat> Other creatures get flying at plus one, plus, uh, plus O, plus one. Smash is good. Lumbering Battlement's actually pretty good. Actually, like lumbering battlements a lot. Thank you. Rogue optic, welcome back, my dude. You guys are great. Yeah, my sub count took a huge hit this weekend. So I appreciate you guys coming back, bringing it back. Okay, so Avicen priest, very very good. Avicenian priest, rather. All right, let me. I'm opening this link and I'm seeing what we got here. Oh God! Oh, it's only. It's only. What? Wait, hold on. There's only one page, right? <clears throat> okay, that's not bad. Interesting. Uh, <coughs> it wasn't people unsubbing. It was people like their their Twitch Prime subs un uh, expiring, basically. So like as you can see, there's like Twitch Prime resub, Twitch Prime resub, Twitch Prime. So like they, all their all their Twitch Prime subs like expired over the past five days. So it would be like I didn't I wasn't on Thursday, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Like if I got five or your ten subs a day, Twitch Prime subs every day, then it's like that's like fifty subs that expired over that course of time. Yeah, gift subs expired too. Uh, Strands of Undeath is not bad if we're sticking with the black white theme. Nine mana. Nine mana. Nope, don't like that. Centaur Safeguard's not bad. We could also exile with Lumbering Battlement to uh, to get it back and gain more life when it comes back, etc., etc. <clears throat> oh man, this is more. This is the most gut shots I've ever seen in my life. Do we have anything that proliferates? Not yet. Beginning of your upkeep, enchanted creatures control sacrifice it, and you create a 1 1. <clears throat> it's actually pretty good. That's actually very good, right? Like, their guy dies, and then we get a guy out of it. I was worried about Reed's. Like, Reed's commitment to the game is good, but I was worried about Reed's Pro Tour top 8s. How many Pro Tour top 8s does Reed have? This pack's pretty bad. Um, salt Skitter, 3 4. Blah. Just disappears. I also feel like Brad Nelson is a pretty much a lock. <clears throat> you said you wouldn't see slivers. Why do you lie? Well, that's fair. 
I don't know. Nothing in this pack is really. It's really doing it for me. Just like Michael. Thank you. Bulamog, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. They do do. What'd you say to me? Take the gopher. What's the gopher? You know the gopher. I have no idea what the gopher is. Just take the card that looks like a gopher. Do you mean the card that looks like you? Wow. Got him. Yes, you did, got him. That's terrible. Took you for being black white. Wow. Is this how you're gonna be? I invited you. My, I invite you in my, into my home, and this is how you're gonna be. Well, I think it's more of an invite. More than an invite. You think it's more of an invite? I just said it was an invite. Unbelievable. This is more than an invite. I live here. That's not really an invite. Do you? I guess an invite implies a, a length of time. Not picking a sliver? I got a, I got a frenzy sliver right over here, buddy. Listen. Whenever a sliver does a thing, do a thing. I think Mike just designed a new sliver. It's pretty good, right? Yeah, man. Top of his class. Oh, the number of clerics on the battlefield. That's exciting. Yeah. Do we got any? I have one cleric. So nice. It'd be plus two, plus plus two, plus two. It's pretty good. Actually, it's not terrible. It's a three-three attacker. Twilight Panther's if actually you have great. a cleric. Well, it's a cleric itself, so it's oh, always it a three-three. Itself. Okay. Gets plus six, plus six, where X is the number of clerics. And yeah, so it's always gonna be at least one cleric on the battlefield. That's not. I mean, it's 3 3 for 3, basically. That's not. Oh, wait, it's 4 mana? It's still Hill Giant. It's still 3 3 for 4. Yeah, I guess. Why do you hate so much? I just. I don't know, man. I like good cards. Wow. Hunter needs attention, so I'm gonna scritch his head. The Game Store Online. <clears throat> Brian Witt. How many, how many decks have you sent me that I didn't do? You can tell Hunter gets real irritated when he puts his nose under your hand. Why? He's like forcing you to pet him. He's like, no, man, this ain't over. Two? That doesn't seem accurate. I'll take a thought picker. You missed my longest question thing. All right, hold on. <clears throat> I tried the Beyond Burger at Carl's Jr. I was very impressed. I must like to try some more. If the Impossible Beyond products weren't so expensive, I would definitely swap meat sometimes in my meals. I just found out that there's a Hungry Howie's close to me, and I'll definitely be going soon. What crust player do you recommend, and are there are their wings good? Finally, any chance you get out to SLC at all? I know some people who would be super down to cube draft. Um, I might be going to SLC at the end of the month. Or the end of uh, August, rather. Nope, the end of September. That's what I meant. Uh, as far as crust flavors, what do you recommend? Uh, I like Cajun. I also like mm. anything involving garlic. The garlic butter is very good. And there's like another one. What's the other one? Like uh, Just like a garlic herb one. Yeah, the garlic herb one's really good. You can also mix them. Garlic butter and garlic Their herb. Their wings are uh, they're wings. a little small, but they're, they're pretty decent. It's not the size of your wings, Michael. So, Goblin Nick just sent this bad boy over. So, uh, there you go. Happy birthday, Michael. Hey, actual thing to say here. I was recently watching one of your videos on YouTube in the chat conversation. got a little political, and I just want to take the opportunity to thank people of differing beliefs who still tune into the stream. I think it's really important to talk about these things without devolving into flaming. Thank you. And I hope people find this community to be friendly and welcoming enough to keep coming back and hanging out, because I know I do. Really appreciate that. Thanks for saying so, buddy. You are nature's little treasure, after all. Juposhi, or <laughs> Juposhi, that's that is nature's little treasure. Jojo M Key, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, really appreciate it. How do you feel about thousand hundred hand hundred hand one? That guy's pretty good. He is pretty good. <coughs> hundred ham <hand> one. <coughs> hundred what? Hundred ham one. Ham? Yeah. Biscuits? 
Yeah, biscuits. Ham and biscuits. Ham and biscuits. Ham, ham, and biscuits. Mutual sliver. Whenever a sliver enters the battlefield, put an ice counter on it, and it has, at the beginning of your turn, remove an ice counter from this creature. If there are no ice counters, it goes to the equipped nap without telling anyone. <laughs> wow, that's pretty good. Oh, dear God, it's so real. It's so real. That's like the most authentic magic card I've ever seen made. Sure, read out that long, heartfelt, warm comp, and my pooping sliver. God dang, I'm sorry, you guys are real chatty today. Please, no pooping sliver to combo with Mike's sliver. Wait, what happened? Wait, what is Mike's sliver again? Whenever a sliver enters the battlefield, do a thing? <laughs> Whenever a sliver enters the battlefield, poop? Would that be the combination? This pack is terrible. I was gone for days. It's true. Remove one ice counter from, from target Moochel. Moochel drops the ice on the floor. <laughs> Moochel is sad. <laughs> He stares at it, confused, wondering how this could have happened. I gotta buy you some sugar. You gotta buy me some sugar? Mm -hmm. For what? Because I ran out of sugar. I don't know if you knew you had sugar, but you hmm. had sugar. I was using it for coffee. Oh, I guess I'm taking this. Oh, no. Incrementally, and uh, I used it all up. Wow, you just been using my sugar and not even asking, and then you used all of it? Yeah. That's amazing. Who does that? That's a weird thing to do, man. You weren't using it, man. I knew. <laughs> Bitch, what if I use that for my baking projects? Yeah. You bake so often. Do you like the cast drafts, and are you looking forward to the MCU Grixis Cube? I do, and yes. When's that um, cube coming up? The 28th. So next week. Okay. Hunter's having a bad time with the thunder. He is. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the Grix Grixis Cube just because it looks new and unique and all the cards should still be fun and powerful. So <clears throat> that's Mike, do you have a coaster cool. under that cup? Not under the coffee because it's hot, so it's not going to... It doesn't matter. But I do have one under my cold drink, yes. Bone Splinters is probably better than the Sigiled Paladin here, I bet. Yeah, Bone Splinters OP. Uh, it's pretty pretty regular P, I think. What's that card you just took out? <clears throat> Benediction of Moons. It's not a creature, so I don't care. It costs one mana. It's probably bad. No, you gain one life for each player. Does it do anything else? You can haunt, so that then you gain another life for each player. So at best, we're talking multiplayer game. You're gaining like four, and then maybe you'll gain four again. Yeah. Not great, Bob. Thank you. It's not great. Even if it said one mana gain eight life, still wouldn't like it. Not great, Bob. What uh what happened? <clears throat> Dark Steel Spork. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. What was someone else asked question I had saw? Uh assuming the movies were well made and current MCU cast be would you prefer a Spider Man Deadpool or Spider Man Ven Spider Man Venom? Hundred percent. I don't care about Deadpool. I'll watch the movies. I think Deadpool's a funny character and he's entertaining, but I think I, it's not one of my favorite characters. And I think he's a little, a little overhyped, to be honest. He's just one of those guys that people like latch onto in, in the in the comic community and like so, <clears throat> just like um, I think he's overhyped in general, but I think the movies have been very good. Like as a character, like everyone loves Deadpool, but I think the movies were really good. The, the movies are great, but nonetheless, it's like it, Deadpool is like Harley Quinn or like. It's just this character that, like, people just like to like. And, uh, you know, it's just... He's super random. People are like, I connect with his wacky antics. He's just a... Because I'm so wacky in real life. He's <laughs> like, yeah. Deadpool, as far as heroes go, is like uh, the Hot Topic t-shirt of comic book characters. <clears throat> and and that's not to say he can't be great. But I feel like he's overused. Um... And people kind of just latch on to him. And that's such a weird thing for me, but... Yeah, Chris, I saw that news earlier, and I was just like, come on, dude. Not now. Not when we're, well, not when we're doing so well.
None of these cards are any good. It's so weird when you're in these positions where you're like, oh, well, I guess we can take anything. Yeah. Whatever, it doesn't matter. How are you going to give up, like, this super billionaire... Like, this... this Super billionaire. <laughs> these movies are making billions of dollars, and Sony's like, no, I'll pass. Did you see this? Did you see what happened? No, I didn't see the actual article. Oh, you're just you're just guessing. Well, I'm basing it based on Chris's thing. He said it was. So, I mean, I don't know the fine details, but apparently they're not, you know... They're not cool to hang. It's making me mad. So probably one of the companies is too greedy. That's why they're not coming to an, like. An it's just so dumb. Like you look at the, you look at the success of, of these movies and these franchises, and you're just like, oh, I'm gonna try it on my own again. Look what happened to Venom when you didn't work with the MC, you friggin' idiots. Did that movie actually flop? I don't know. It might I not have the, flopped. I think Venom but... actually. I thought it actually did like. Well, or it was like profitable. Well, it did, but I think that's also because Venom is a similar character to Deadpool. Like, the fan base alone will carry it, even if the movie's not great. It has a 29% on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> like, come on. Yeah, but did it make money? But see, even the thing is, like, even we went to see it just because I wanted to see how bad it was. So, like, it has that going for yeah, it. Yeah, we literally went to see it to see how bad it was. Right. I remember going to see it and be like, oh, it's going to be terrible. And it kind of was. Like, I have a lot of criticisms of Venom. And I think they're all pretty valid. I don't think any of them are like, well, I, I didn't want to like it, so I didn't. It's it's all like, I wrote, wrote it all down. Here we go. Sony kills Spider-Man partnership deal with Marvel Studios. According to Deadline, the decision stems from an inability by Disney and Sony to reach new terms that would have given the former a co-financing stake going forward. As for the next two currently planned Spider-Man films, both Homecoming and Far From Home, director John Watts as well as actor Tom Holland are expected to return. However, Marvel's involvement in the project is doubtful, as Marvel Studios presents Kevin, President Kevin Feige has been essentially nixed by Sony. That's good. Let's get rid of uh, <clears throat> the entire MCU, the one of the, the most supporting things from those movies. That's also why they're so good, because they tied back into the MCU. Right, because they're rewarding you for watching all these movies and, and getting those connections and everything. Like, how could any of those two movies be good without Iron Man's involvement? Like, You can't even have those movies. Like, they're, they're, they'd be completely different movies. Right. No, this is August 20th. It's not saying... <clears throat> Wait, why does... I mean... No, I think you're mishearing the sentence. Yeah, no, you thought they meant about upcoming movies. They're not talking they're about not, upcoming movies. Yeah, they're, they're talking not about the director from those two movies. Yeah, they're not calling Homecoming and Far From Home upcoming, the next two currently planned Spider-Man films. They're saying, they're saying, as for the next two currently planned Spider-Man films, both Homecoming and Far From Home director John Watts, as well as Tom Holland, are expected to return for those next two films. They're just relating those two characters to, to the movies they've previously done. Oh, Michael B. He's a trash boy. Living I am a trash boy. God. What? Oh I am a trash boy. God. It seems Disney asked for all future Spider-Man projects to be a 50-50 co-financing arrangement between Marvel and Sony, but the latter declined. You don't want 50% of a billion dollars? <laughs> Instead, Sony proposed leaving the current deal untouched, <laughs> meaning Marvel would continue to receive 5% of first dollar gross while maintaining merchandising rights, which Disney refused. This, of oh. course, comes on the hot heels of Spider-Man Far From Home, cementing itself as Sony's highest-grossing film of all time, albeit with Marvel's help, they say. Nevertheless, Sony is reportedly... I'm probably going to take this two-drop. Oh, I didn't mean to take it. I just meant to put it over here. Rock Charger seems great. What does that guy do? He gives another guy a flight? Yeah. Yeah, that guy's good. Sony is reportedly optimistic about the future of Spider-Man franchise, even without the helping hand of Marvel, as the studio believes it's already set a solid foundation to build off of Homecoming and Far From Home. Yes, they did that by putting Spider-Man in the MCU. Yeah, it's really stupid. I mean, I could understand them like not wanting to do 50-50, but them just being like, no, you can only have 5%. I almost want to boycott it just because their, their selfishness is ruining it for fans. Like, why not come up with a deal like 70-30 yeah, or something, not 5%? That's insane. Like... Well, five percent is the they have, right? Exactly. So them, them are initially like Sony goes like, "Hey, let's do 50-50 now." Oh, you're saying go up to thirty instead of like taking fifty percent, right? Like negotiate. Don't be like, "No, you have to stay at five percent." Sorry, guys, you only get five percent. I guess in the the merchant angel rights is good. I mean, I'm sure that rakes in a lot of money too, but.
Yeah, but still, think of the 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 amount of. I have to assume the amount of work Marvel puts in is huge. I mean, the director is one of the Marvel guys, right? So, like, that's super important. I think I just want this guy, this this one one for three that gives neg one neg one. It's basically a pinger. I'm a threshold neg two right. neg two. That's hard to that's that's pretty good. It's yeah, it's not five percent of everything. It's five percent of the first dollar gross. Like the uh, the first, what does it say? Like um, like the first weekend or whatever. I don't know what that means. First dollar grossed. So it's an even shittier deal essentially. Nightly Valor? Eh, launch party could be good. The first dollar they bring in. It's only 5% of a dollar. Yeah, that's pretty good. <clears throat> that's five cents, buddy. Destroy a creature. Its controller loses two. Actually, that's probably pretty good. We'd have to sacrifice a guy for it, but we have to sacrifice a guy with bone slayers, too. How many guys are we sacrificing here? How many guys we got? Get out of here, wander, wandery boy. Oh, destroy a creature that deals damage this turn. Avenging Arrow is also pretty good. I'll take the Nightly Valor, makes a guy, whatever. I bet one of those two will come back. Yeah, because that combo piece. What? To the left. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to the left? <laughs> Disney is also trying to get as much money as they can of it, but the, but the thing is, Disney has earned it. Disney literally put all the work into the Marvel Universe and and Sony kind of came in and like well we'll make our Spider-Man movie on the back of your work which they did when, and this is this is great it's a great way to do it as long as you like respect the fact that that's what happened I'm totally fine with Disney wanting more because look at the fucking MCU <laughs> it's 10 years in the making look at every Sony Spider-Man movie before this and you're like oh this is what they look like when you do them on your own huh okay well yeah, they've all been not so great. Until they finally teamed up with Marvel. Like the difference between the two the two the two movies like is like is night and day. We've got a little secret action here. They had like three good ones. I mean I think Spider Man two, the original Sam Raimi is good. I don't know if Spider Man one and three hold up. Um They don't. I don't think any of the amazing Spider Man's hold up really. First amazing Spider Man was a is passable. I think the first Garfield one is watchable. I enjoyed watching it. I don't think it holds up. Um, I also think the, the, the first, the one and two of Raimi films are, are good. I think they're fine. I think the second one is the, the best offer, the best one of the, the, the three for sure. Yeah, Homecoming is like not even close. It's like in a you're like, oh wow, this is what a Spider-Man movie should be. Yeah, they're so much better than those old ones. It's insane. Look at the look at this. This guy is look at these two. They're the same things. Look at these cuties. Mm. Juposhi, I actually, yeah, I read about that. It was pretty mind blowing. I was like, "Come what? on, Marvel!" Uh, Art Spiegelman wrote this this thing about and uh, about this thing about uh, fascism, and he called Trump the Orange Skull. Mm -hmm. And I was like, "That's fantastic!" And Marvel like wouldn't publish that. And I'm just like, "Do you understand? This company was like, like, created." And Captain America's been punching Nazis since 19 dickety too. Yeah, it's like, it was just like, wait, but... Since before I was born. I don't get it. Anyway, I don't want to get too political here about this. We're just talking about Spider-Man and Sony and Marvel. You like the Street Superman? What'd it do? When it attacks, you can destroy all auras attached to target land. Cool. 
that definitely was a needed card. He sold his brand by punching Hitler hundreds of times. Like, really, dude? <laughs> oh, man. You tell me you didn't enjoy Toby walking down the street stuttering, strutting in... in, in, in uh, no, no, I can't say I did. Dude, the whole... Spider-Man 3 is the most cringeworthy movie of all time, It's maybe. not It's not it's good. It's really bad. And it's not like those so bad it's funny because they were clearly trying and it's just No, awful. it takes itself seriously. The thing that gives... My dad. All special land walking. I have no idea what you just said. This? Yeah. No, plus two, plus two with landfall. So, like, okay. I never play land. I was thinking of a different card. Oh, I bet you were because the card you said was a different dude. It's a card that's, like, all non-basic land walking. I have no idea what that card is. I think you just made that up. There's a, they're booties. They're booties. Yeah. You don't want to play Dark Rip, man? We get a turn. Turn. There's nothing. We get a turn, turn. <laughs> One turn to destroy them all. And another turn to turn them. Michael B. He's full of bees. It's true. Spread those bees. <laughs> Went to Perkins this weekend. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't even put the jelly on top of the... I couldn't even put the butter on top of the jelly because they pre-buttered the, the biscuits. Man, sucks for you, I guess. I was like, dang, it's like they really, they... Like, no, you're not allowed to do that in this fine, this fine restaurant. Don't even try it, buddy. My favorite Spider-Man movie is Arachnophobia starring John Goodman. Wow. Arachnophobia is fantastic. That movie freaked me out as a kid. <laughs> Same. I was like, I felt like, is this my house? Do I live in this house? Better hope not. No, instead they're just earwigs. All right, we're just going to play this black-white deck and see. Do you remember when Spider-Man was hot for Tony Stark in Tropic Thunder? What? Was Tobey Maguire in Tropic Thunder? Eight-Legged Freaks. I did see that movie. I don't remember much about it. Sounds memorable. Just a movie about giant spiders. I'll keep it. No, creep it. You'll creep it? Mm hmm. Wow. 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 Blinking, huh? What does that do again? Well, see you later. Hey, guys. Oh, big gulps, huh? All right. <laughs> well, see you later. Flanking is whenever a creature blocks it, that creature gets a negative one, negative one. It was pretty good. So it's like reverse Bushido. Yes. Yeah, it's like reverse Bushido. That is like very reverse good. Shido. I also make one ones really bad at blocking. So that's cool. Dude, I find like an earwig a week and in, in, on the floor in here and I don't understand it. Give me that lumbering battlement so I can like lumber and battle. And mint. Yeah, lots of mints. I hate that they're called earwigs too, because it's just a terrible name. Oh, first strike pro black, huh? I see what you're up to. Wow, cr crumbling necropolis, double white. Okay. I don't know what Chaposhi just said, but it was something. Back in 19 Dickety Ought, used to be able to buy three earwigs for the price of one whole corn nugget. Of course, back then an earwig cost a six penny farthing. And a six penny farthing was worth about one scrober. That sounds about right. I'm no historian, but oh boy! Wait, they're actually making another Mortal Kombat movie? Man, you don't know anything about the internet, do you? I mean, I'll probably go see it. You counter this? Oh my Christ! Come on! 
I was going to play this guy just so I can get his ability online, but then, nope, I'll go for the five drop instead. If it's as epically good, bad as the originals, it'll be sweet. Attacking red creatures get plus two, attacking white creatures get plus O plus two, sure. All right, that's my hand. Everybody's out. Sure. You got it. I think we have too many dirtles. I, I've i noticed this as well. Our whole deck is like two twos and ones. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe, maybe that's true. Maybe that's true, Mucho. Go wide, bro. I can discard a card at random, I guess. Get a Blessed Alliance, sure. So, 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 so. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Sweet O2, bro. Got him. Wreck him. Wow, the mountain. This is. This manas or something else, man. Hmm. Man, I wish we had threshold. <laughs> Do you? Yes. Why? So we can neg two, neg two something. What? What does that kill? Everything. Not one creature on the board. Not even his little his little goofer there? Which no, two three, never mind. Which is the goofer? The one that does the black and red or the white and red stuff. The black and red or the white and red stuff. See what I said there? Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's get to eat this guy. Weird mouth noises, bro. Oh, good. They're doing a thing. Sure. You got it. Now you guys dead. Seeker of the way. Man, this pro-black guy is really, uh, really ruining my day here. I think it's funny that, that other companies owning the rights to these properties, like Fantastic Four, X-Men, Spider-Man, it's been nothing but trouble for Marvel. You okay over there? Where are you going? You hurt yourself? No. You getting the scum out of your fingers? Yeah. They used to call you old scum fingers McGee. They did. Literally just can't get by this guy. It's unbelievable. Sure, you got it, Argus Korg Corgus. Argus the Bargus. One, two, three, four, five. I don't think you have another trick, but we'll see. Okay. Clean up the board a little bit. 
Can I get that pack beast so I can get rid of this and put a big, big ass dude on the board? That would be nice. Return a creature from your graveyard. Great. That was a cool draw. I'd say it was pretty good. I don't think so. I don't want to concede here, but... Them getting back Argus, Corgus, and the other guy is pretty good. Yeah, Argy Bargy is pretty good. You know that guy from Commander? To a play Argus, Corgus? No. No. He's well, I don't know. He's red-white. There's your problem. Because those cards don't need, those colors don't need to draw anything? They're just not Good. super great. You're not super great. Wow. Go, 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 got him. Ooh. All right, well, that's a 4-3. Of course, you can really make any colors work if you play stacks. Yep. Got to do something. That ain't it. All right. Whew. What's up, Sammy? Good to see anybody. Uh, exile a white creature that's attacking or blocking? Deal. Seems good. It does seem good. Roll their hand. Choose a card. Shuffle into their library. That doesn't get rid of it. Michael Bees. He's got bees in his basket. In my basket. Michael Bees. He's living with a disease. What would that be? Causes him to sneeze. <laughs> and then he's all like, oh, jeez. I will play first. I will keep this no black land hand. The old NBLH. Oh, look at that. We found one. In the wild. Andrew wants to go get tacos at Tijuana Flats again. I'm tempted to go because it's the last day here, but or no, it's the last the last week I'll be here. But like, I'm really not a big Team Off Flats fan. It's not that great. Thank it's you. a little. Overpriced. I mean, it's fine for like lunch, but like, Frandrew, that is correct. Aloha, brother. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. I gotta pay for like salsa so I don't get dry chips. And that is weird that they're like, you want salsa with that? I'm like, yeah, I guess. Do you want flats is all about the flautas? Is that true? Look at this one. We one threes and one fours. Oh my. Oh my. Oh boy. No, the chips do not come with salsa. They just come dry. It's really weird. Like I'd rather go to Moe's. Welcome to Moe's. It's cheaper and they provide free salsa. Yeah, they give you a plate, and there's a bunch of salsa on the plate, and your, like, burrito or your tacos or whatever. But, no salsa, so you're just eating these dry chips. You said salsa on your plate, you meant chips. Oh, chips, yeah, they give you chips, and they give you, uh, you know, the other thing I said. And your meal. And then you're just like, but, I just, I just eat these dry, or what, how do, how do, what do we do? Yep, you gotta pay, like, three bucks for our stupid 
Not really great salsa. It ain't three bucks. Well, how much is it then? Seventy dollars. Seventy dollars. Jeez. Yeah, I agree. If you have enough hot sauce, you can use this. I was thinking, I'm like, is the intent to dip it in the hot sauce? Because that you doesn't really make any that. sense. I just he, said doo-doo. He did say doo-doo. Why does it always got to be arresting our guys, man? I don't know. This is really obnoxious, though. We finally got our 100 handy one, and he does that to it? It's rude. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm okay with Mexican food. It's just Tijuana Flats just like... I love Mexican food. It's like, I get it's your tradition, but you already had your tradition day, so can we go somewhere else? Does it have to be your tradition every freaking Tuesday? It does. I just don't... I wish there was a, a way to compromise and be like, when we go to a different Mexican place, like... I bet if we asked anyone but Andrew, they'd be like, yeah, we can go somewhere else. It's fine. It's just weird that they choose the subpar food every single week as the tradition. I'm just like, but why? Every week? like There's so a, many better options. Why can't you make a different tradition that's with better food? Mm, I'm not going to play anything else here, actually. The Carmelitas is so much better. So is Moe's. I'd rather go to Chipotle. Taco Bus. Yeah, I'd much rather go to Taco like Bus. Like literally Taco any other option. Taco Bus is so much better. And it's more authentic. I can't stand when every Wednesday is get a meatball sub without pepper jack day. Me neither, buddy. Get a meatball sub without pepper jack day? Yeah, that's right. Does a meatball sub usually come with pepper jack? That seems unfamiliar to me. Oh, and I forgot to tap one of these guys because of the stupid... Dang it. That's going to cost us. That's a paddling. Tijuana Flats isn't even that cheap. That's why it doesn't make any sense. Like, you can definitely get way better deals out there. Meatball subs always come with pepper jack. Don't let Frank convince you otherwise. I don't know, man. I, no. Whenever I order them, they kind of pretty standard come with mozzarella. You don't know anything. I'm not saying pepper jack would be bad. Yes, you should. That's what you should be saying. Maybe you want a spicy meatball. No one wants that. Oh, sorry. I did say it wrong. Mozzarella. Little moots. I'm playing terrible here. I should just flip this on their turn. Like they're gonna attack with these guys. Now they have no incentive not to attack with this guy. Yeah, this is bad. I'm. I haven't. I'm. My, I'm. I'm. I'm distracted by this whole conversation. It's very. Uh, yeah, this is exactly what we're afraid of here. And I still didn't tap anything down. Like I'm. Oh my god! I've just thrown away like three damage. Probably like eight damage. It's pretty unbelievable. I'm just gonna jump block here because I don't feel like taking. This is so bad. I think I'm just tilted by the pepper jack. <laughs> sure. Is there like some backstory about getting pepper jack on a sub that you didn't want pepper jack on? No, you put it on meatball subs, idiot. <laughs> I don't think you do. Mm, you do. Maybe don't. you don't. Yeah, I definitely don't. Maybe you should. Wow. I would love to see that pack beast one time. Pepper Jack is a very high quality natural cheese. What cheese is not natural? That's what I'm going to ask you. That's what I'm going to ask you. I guess... The, like, plasticky American cheese is not really... That might be a somewhat artificial. You serious? You got quench again? I'm just absolutely done with this match. I don't even care anymore. Oh, Velveeta. <laughs> cheese powder. Yeah, just don't even care. How's your neck? Pretty good. It's too bad. Wow. I was hoping it would snap and you would die on camera. <laughs> wow. Think of the views, though, man. 
Yeah, until you got banned. You can't have death on stream. I didn't kill you. It's not like it was a murder on stream. You just happened to die. No, man. It's against, against terms of service. I don't think so, man. I don't think accidental death on stream is really going to... It's really gonna come come against you here. Actually, you don't have. I can't be against service service. This one just has a like. If Michael just had a stroke on stream and then he ended up dying from it, like. There's no way that's against. They're going to be like, sorry, you can't accidentally have someone die on your stream? That's insane. It depends on how quick you call 911. What if I didn't call them at all? Hold on, Mike. I'll call right I'm after like this dying game. And I'm like, no. The, uh, what's the name of those? Ambulance costs too much. Just let me die. I can't afford that. I don't have, I don't have health insurance. What is this? It doesn't untap during its controllers. All right. Even with insurance, ambulance is expensive. Ambulance? <laughs> ambulance. Oh, <laughs> well, you don't, what, you call something different? No, I guess I call it that. Mm, two twos dot deck over here. <sighs> it's okay, he's only got a one one. Wow, two people made the same joke. What? Whoa, Black Bloody Amber Lance. <laughs> oh my god. Let's go to Popeyes. Let's get some Popeyes delivered. Another target attacking creature against flying itself. Wow, how many of these creatures are printed? I feel like this this two two or one three flyer for three mana that gives another creature flying has been like printed seventeen times in the past. It's a pretty standard card. God knows how long. The floater that makes your friend float. Okay. We all float up here, Mutual. Whatever that means. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe they didn't know what flanking does because, because it's an. Yeah, it was a weird block. I was like, "That's a hug of a chump." You should just chump block the four guy. Were they like flanking? I don't know what it does, so it's probably not terrible. <laughs> I mean, it's not out of the realm of possibility. Yeah, I don't see anything. Hey, is this a bad time? Yes, Mike's dad, it is a bad time. Hey, man, I'm sorry about your dad. Are you? Are you sorry about my dad? No, I lied. Hey, man, I'm sorry about lying to you. No, you're not. <laughs> <coughs> oh, God, guys, here it's happening. I like how it gives you landfall trigger even though it's not equipped. <laughs> oh, they tapped it forever. Oh, that was a good hit. Now I get the Cabal Torturer. Forever tapped. I'm gonna be forever tapped. All these cards are great with our pack our pack intruder beast, whatever it is that, like... Oh, that was, oh, that was sad. I should have equipped it first. You dummy. Oh well. Now you don't even equip it. No, I still equip it. I'm just going to pass so I can keep up the negative one, negative one. But I definitely would have rather have three damage there. You think? Yes. Yes, I do. Hope he hit a fetch land. That'd be gas. <laughs> Me too. They'd be like dead, basically.
What's the EV on calling the ambulance immediately versus waiting until the end of the match? Someone do the math. Wow. <laughs> oh, well, this is a quick match. And now we're done. And round quick. three, I guess. Wow, that was. This has been a quick, yeah, quick league. It's okay. We'll get punished in the last round. It'll be a real grinder. Chaos draft is basically like uh, an unorganized cube draft. Yeah, basically. Like all the cards are not good. Construction is making my house shake. My house shaking is messing up my 3D printing that's been going on for like the... Wow. That's Look at that. That's a first world problem if I heard one. My 3D printer is not printing correct. I am upset. Someone in my neighborhood is building things and I can't print my 3D things stably enough. I can't this... print my 3D key fob. Key fob, isn't it? I so, just know it is. It's a. It's gonna be a, a small toy of some sort. That's all it's really good for, right? What? Making small toys. M small knickknacks, yeah, for the most part, or animal prosthetics, really. Oh, I went to six. This is great news. What tips do you have for someone who's never cast drafted? Just. I don't it's hard, like it's hard. My my tip would be like build a cohesive deck, but it's not a great tip. It's hard because you can't really get tips because all the packs are different and there's no like unlike a regular cube where you're like these are the strategies. If you get this, try to get this or go with these and like you know. 15 hours and in America, probably a gun. Wow. Yikes. I want to be Michael B. Do you really want to be Michael B? Michael B. Michael B's. See, now now I just have to remember to equip the adventuring gear before playing my land. Good luck. You were mugging a child? Oh my god, reported. Oh, a 3 2. Now you can block. But did he ever really live, Michael? What? Hmm? What? Huh? Hmm? What? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Guess we're just attacking into this guy. If you want to block, you get a 2-1. That's fine. Mike, do you really want to live forever? Um, forever? Ask me in 30 years. 30 years? You'll be yeah. dead. Well, we might all be dead in 30 years, so. Well, you'll be dead from your life choices, not from. Wow. That's rude. I feel like this is the better That's creature. That's a little rude. Enjoy your attack, buddy. It'll be your last. Will it, do you think? You don't think he's going to have any other attacks? That's crazy. Well, I thought we were going to tap him. No, I want an attack for three. What do I look like, an idiot? Yes. <coughs> well, that's rude. You're rude. You're a rude idiot. <coughs> Whoa. Sorry to have disturbed you. Well, oh, that's, that's a bomb. Yep, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm going to put this implant on it. Or I could have flipped this guy if I had one more mana, but right now. Implant. Implant it is. Does that kill it? Eventually. We're going to have a bad time. Why? Oh, is that the thing that gives Neg 1, Neg 1, like, every turn? What? No, it kills it. <laughs> they need to upkeep the second, and they, they sacrifice it. Oh. I thought it was a different card. I hope you enjoy these new water pipes just for you and all the shaking I've been through. It's worth it. <laughs> I'm sure it will be. I'm sure it will be. Oh, they sacrificed it now? It's at the beginning of my upkeep, so they actually could have got another guy out of this, which is actually just the best possible outcome I could have ever seen. Sacrifice a creature and lose a life. Meh.
I'll just take it. Oh, wow. All right, that's great. We have a Cabal Torturer as well. Jeez. Cheddar cheese in the breeze. That's where my fleas live. What? Does he make any hmm? sense? Huh? Huh? Uh -huh. Is it torturer that can kill either of these? Maybe. Yeah, I think it is. We take a little bit of damage here, but getting this guy online is. You know. <coughs> Keep it down. No one's got time for your shenanigans right now. Nobody? Maybe you're dead. see no blocks can I get a swamp here I really want a swamp here it's not what I was looking for attempt to kill this thing It's just a whole lot of to do. Don't be a den protector. Oh my god. Yeah, that's fine. I'll trade my. That's not a big deal. Because now I can block here. It's a manifest guy. It's not a big deal. I'm going to take two. And then we have a much stronger hand, all things considered. Oh, maybe not. Oh, now we're dead. Oh, boy. That's just a 4-4? Four, four? Sure, that's fine. I was I was a little more worried than I should have been. I don't know, still a pretty big boy when we're at 9. I got a 4-1 and a 4-5 in my hand. But think of the children. What children? The little moochels. I also just have this now. That works. Go, 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 got him. All your things are dead. I guess you got a bird of paradise. Oh, Michael, living in the trash can, sucking the juice out the bottom of the bag. This player discards a card? Oh, that was good because they didn't have any cards left, you see? Hmm. Hmm. Land. Not a land. But it was not a land. Look at all my creatures. Did you look at them? Yeah. Okay. No, good, I did. Good talk. <clears throat> I think we're winning. I'm no expert here. I don't know if we're winning. Excuse me? We're not losing. How are we not winning? Because they're like 13. This is going to be like a friggin' 10 11. A 10 11. I don't even know what the thing is. Oh, it's non token creatures? That's sad. Alright, so that's only 6 7, I guess. We do. Lofof, what's going on, buddy? And we won. I told you, Michael. Why can't you just listen to me, Michael? 
Because I hate you. Why can't you just listen to your father, Michael? Michael, do you... Oh, not this again. Oh my god, why does it keep doing this? G -g 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 glitch He just said it himself. That's the joke. God, you guys are ridiculous. Your mother's a glitch. Hunter B ain't noise pollution. Isn't he though? No. He's a good boy. You're a good boy. For, huh. for an ungrateful savage. How am I ungrateful? How are you? I don't know. You just are. <laughs> okay. It's just the way you live your life, man. You just can't quantify it. No, he's back. That took you like two seconds. Give him them pats. That's all he wants is pats. He just wants to feel like a drum all day. to work all day I just want to wait yes how's this song go huh huh what yeah you got a range gal I don't want to work I just want to bang on the hunter drum all day do you would be nice but alas buddy you couldn't handle Mike being all day <laughs> maybe that's true mm -hmm. wow yeah I'll take two Oh no, not this guy. You can feel it all over. The problem with Oathbreaker is that nobody plays it. Is that the problem? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I wish I had more lands. I'm gonna bone splinters. Bone so, splinters, ready? Yeah, we're doing this now because we know they got Geth's Verdict back with the thing, so. And then we're gonna post play adventuring gear for full value. Any thoughts on the new game Remnant? I have not seen anything or heard of Remnant, so no, I would say no thoughts. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Land. That's the opposite of land. It's sci-fi Dark Souls with guns. You know, it sounds cool. Oh, God. Hey, look, we hit one. I don't think we can beat a Whisper Elemental. A tent with nothing on board? Yeah. yeah probably not. <clears throat> I'm like, I don't feel like having to get four creatures before you even respond to it. Okay, let's try not doing that again. Remember that? Hooah! 
Hoo-ah. Yeah, do it again. I did it again. And Who, yes, I do remember that. Who's your favorite member of the A team, Michael? Samsonite. Tain, it could be worse. Sounds good. So what was the sigh then for? My my sigh was at you, not knowing for any Sam's of tonight? the members of the A team. There's Brickhouse, Jimmy the Fish, <laughs> Samsonite, and Boswell. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Boswell. <laughs> okay, you got me with Boswell. <laughs> Jimmy the Fish. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Lord. Boswell. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. What does Boswell do on the team? Do you know? He's the Boswell. Okay. Mm, Well, Boswell that ends well, I guess. (laughs) But for real, the A team is you got, you got, you got, you got, you got Maverick. Maverick, okay. That's the only one I remember. I don't know. Uh, okay. What about Bozzy Boy? <laughs> <laughs> well, Poisonous One with this forced adaptation is pretty good. So it's like, what, a three turn clock? Yeah, about that. I take two and then three and then four. So four turn clock, but still. Five if we block one of the turns. Ugh, this is like one turn away from Cabal torturing it. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, that'll do. That's good. ba do 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 Boo do 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 Michael Boos. Let's just kill this during your draw step off. Yes, like. kill the bird. Michael. Oh, Michael Bees living in the trees. Hope he doesn't have to sneeze. <laughs> Wait. Wait, what? It's not three turn clock. You only have poisonous one, so we only get one poison. Oh. It doesn't have infect. No. So oh. We're actually... Who cares about that? I mean, it's still, still a threat, but not as much. It's not a threat. I'm not threatened. I mean, it is like a 5-5, five five, isn't it? It'll be a 4-4 four four next turn. It's pretty big. But now it is dead. Well, next turn it'll be dead. Next turn, it is dead. That's correct. Maybe he'll sacrifice it on this turn. That'd be great. Unfortunately, you can't sacrifice creatures unless they have an ability that allows you to do so. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just, uh, I do that all the time. Mm, you don't. Yeah, I do. I'm just like, I'm going to sack this creature. Because, mm, uh, you never done that. So. I do it all the time. No, you don't. I'm actually tempted to block here and then shoot this guy just because. I don't really feel like taking seven here. Or we can actually just kill this guy. And then they both die. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, that seems better. I'll take one more point of damage and get both creatures off the board. Yep, that's fine. Michael Bees, he lives in the trees. Yeah, that's right. Get that song stuck in your head that I made up about your name. It's a pretty good song, man. Thank you. You know what else is a good song? Bob the Sheep. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome to the jungle, Bobby boy. Welcome to the jungle, Bobby boy. That's what you just said. Buddy, I know what I said. Do you? Unfortunately. Do you? Ba-boom, boom, boom, ba-boom, ba-boom, boom, boom. 
Dang it, Bobby. Destroy a creature and opponent controls that was a little damage this turn. I like that they're just like, I'm just gonna run this out there. You're not you're not gonna block anything. Oh, you discard a card, sure. You wanna see my Urborg mind sucker? <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, I can I can show it to you anyway if you like. He moved his garbage can into a tree so he can get fresh air and still enjoy his garbage juice. It's a story we've heard we've all heard that story a thousand times, you know. Is it non black? Ugh god. Of course it is. It's it was made before the year 2000. <laughs> hmm. Fascinating. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go block here. Block here. And then we're just going to flip this guy up, I guess. Wow. Wow. Nice top deck. Oh well. Boswell. Boswell that ends well. I don't know that clip's going to be. <clears throat> Sacrifice a creature or land if you do put two counters on it. So it's a 4 5. You're just going to easily sacrifice a land here. Yep, that's pretty good. I guess we can tap it every turn, though, so it's not that good. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. That is a solid one. Let's not forget to tap this guy. Yeah, don't do that. We'll die. Well, eventually, yeah. Oh god, they drew a card that kills us. Oh, they're gonna unearth their little gentleman. That's so cute. I didn't know they had unearth, I guess. Well, now this guy's legit lethal on every future turn, so that's unfortunate. That's very good. I'm just gonna get in there for one because I don't. Uh, I don't think they're gonna have a hasty creature or removal spell here, or an uh, enchantment removal spell here, especially. I guess they. What's they're gonna top deck and Nantuko. Nantu Nantuko, perfect boy. Also, attacking for one doesn't really get as much. Oh, this is actually great because now it has vigilance, and it gets us another body. Put so the like, bodies on the Geth's board. verdict. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> Oh, they actually have Geth's Verdict. Jeez. <laughs> That's actually incredible. That's the most incredible top deck I've ever seen in my life. Yep. Might as well just get the Geth's Verdict back because I have no creatures. So it negates any creature I might get. That was unbelievable. Phantom Tiger. I mean, guess verdict means you attack for two. You put me to, yeah, you put me to three. This puts me to two, and then you just kill me with the Hag. Yep, that's great. <sighs> Instead of having a 3-4 that can tap anything in a 2-2 on board, we have nothing because they top deck Geth's Verdict exactly when they need it. Like, I'm just... I don't know. That's a really infuriating way for this match to go, especially because we've been... Yeah, so now we have to block this. We still go to 1. 
And I can't even imagine what in our deck gets us back into this game. Because they're still going to have two creatures on board, and then we're going to be at one. So I think we might be drawing dead. No, we're completely drawing dead. Also, they probably just top take another removal spell. So, Yep. All right. That'll do. And a 1-2. Not the best. Not what I was hoping for, but uh, what can you do? Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch, on Patreon, on uh, manatraders.com, and on coolstuffinc.com, where I have new articles every Wednesday. Do me a favor. Go to the site. Comment on the articles themselves. Really appreciate that. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.